Yes boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team video. This is going to be a video on how you can go ahead and complete the weekly objectives extremely quickly and very, very easily. I did make a video on this last week as well and the support on it was incredible. So I thought, you know what, I'll make another video on it. I'm not going to lie, in my opinion, it's a little bit of a letdown what they have brought out this week considering it's the Ultimate Team of the Season. Obviously the final Team of the Season, um of the year apart from the mls so i was expecting like three very very good cards but clearly as an, it isn't that obviously the joe card is quite a good card and renato augusto is also very very good but howard is a little bit of a letdown and a pretty useless player i'm not going to lie but i'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and complete these objectives very very quickly but yeah, make sure you do go ahead, drop a like on the video if it does go on to help you out. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you all so much for the support recently. It really does mean the world. I'm trying to hit 2.6k subscribers very, very soon. So make sure you do go ahead, subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single one of my new videos. But yeah, I did just upload a video on the brand new SBC here, which is a flashback of Riyad Mahrez. So make sure if you are interested in that, go ahead, click on my other video that it is the flashback Riyad Mahrez and watch that and uh, yeah let me know what you do think on it drop a like on it if you do go on to enjoy it but yeah make sure you also follow me on Instagram as well it's McCartneyYT I do post on there very very regularly on literally everything so yeah make sure you do go over there we're at 3,300 followers right now on there so yeah make sure you do check it out but yeah getting into the SBCs no getting into the weekly objectives here on how you can go ahead and complete them shout out to the guy that did make the thumbnail as well he is on Instagram and I'm going to give him a shout out probably later on. But yeah, as you can see here, the first one is Team of the Season, Renato Augusto. I was expecting, obviously, a lot better cards. I was expecting, like, an Ultimate Team of the Season card. Someone like a Lozano. Someone that's very, very uh, attainable. Someone that... It's someone that you actually really want to complete these objectives for because they're going to slot straight into your team. You know how it works. But yeah, taking a look at this Renato Augusto, we can check him out in-game as well to see what he is actually saying, whether the card is worth spending time on and going ahead and completing it. Obviously, it is a 92-rated player, so it is worth it either way. You're getting a 92-rated player for an SPC if you don't want to use him. Um, you can obviously throw him into another SPC and do stuff like that but he has got a very very good card he's almost in the hullet gang and he is six foot one you could easily play him center defensive mid i think he is more of an attackive type player um but you could easily play him cdm he's overall got a very very good all-round card in my opinion so it probably is worthwhile going ahead and completing it he's medium medium six foot one four star weak foot three star skill move so overall not the greatest i'm not gonna lie on the actual skill moves and stuff like that and he is quite tall and his agility is 76 which is quite low and his jumping's low he isn't the greatest card but if you do want to go ahead and complete it it's still good to complete because obviously you can go ahead and throw the card into an SBC for example the Riyad Mahrez today you can put team of season cards into the SBC obviously will reduce the price massively but we are late on in the year now so maybe you don't want to grind for it because it isn't the greatest card it's completely up to you of course it's completely down to you whatever you feel is best but i'm going to show you how you can go ahead and do it quickly but what you've got to do here is win four online single matches using 11 chinese super league players to earn a team of the season renato augusto so obviously you're gonna to have to get the chinese league which is only pretty much silvers and pretty sure so that's gonna be quite difficult i'm not gonna lie it's silvers and bronzes um but looking for the chinese league here if we can find it um i don't even know what it comes under but yeah, you're going to need obviously a full Chinese League team. So it's going to be fairly difficult to go ahead and do. Um, if I can find the Chinese League, I'm probably going to struggle. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, so I don't think there are any golds. Yeah, there are golds actually. Oh right, I've got it all wrong. That's my bad. Ignore what I was saying. There are gold cards. I thought it was a different... I don't know why. I just had a weird idea that there's no golds on this one. It must be another league. I'm thinking of the Japanese League. Sorry if, if I did say it wrong. But yeah, um, as you can see... Overall, very, very uh, good cards you can use. Obviously, throw these cards in and then build the team from there. You're going to need a full 11 players, of course, playing against other full 11 players. But what you're going to do is pick these players up. They probably are going to rise in price, so make sure you do pick them up very, very soon if you do want to go ahead and complete the SBC, uh, complete the weekly objectives. Um, so, yeah, you're going to want to pick up, like, Lavezzi, Adair, two other power players that you can go ahead and do it with. Um, so, as you can see, you're going to need 11 other players 
Um, so you're going to need a full team to be able to do this. But obviously you can put any players on the bench. Keep that in mind. So obviously build your Chinese League team. You're going to have a full 11. And then literally, if you want to go ahead and put, for example, your player of the month Hazard on the bench and your Ibrahimovic, do that. And then sub them on in game and try and win the game. Um, I would usually say change your team name to obviously something that's going to make you be able to complete the challenge. But as you can see, you are going to need to win at four matches. So everyone that you come up against is going to go hard against it. So it's going to be quite competitive. Everyone's going to want to win, obviously. So it's going to be very difficult. And it is FIFA 19, so there's a lot of luck based in it. But yeah, um, that's there's not much tips I can give you on that one simply because of how difficult it actually is to win four games with a Chinese league team. But just understand the fact that everyone else that is doing that is obviously um, uni using Chinese league players as well. So that's just simple, really. Everyone's going to be using similar players, so you know how it is. Um, but into the second one here, what you are going to get here is a team of the season, Joe. So if we do go ahead and look at this card in-game stats, as you can see, team of the season, Joe, it does look like a very, very good card. I'm not going to lie to you. This is probably the best card out of all three, in my opinion. Um, team of the season, Joe. If I can actually find him here, I don't think I will be able to. I don't know what his first name is, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to search him on the market to find his first name. But that SPC, obviously, is squad battles, what you are going to have to do to get this card. Um, which is obviously a little bit of a pain. No one enjoys playing playing squad battles. It's just as simple as that. I'm, I'm searching it wrong. I may as well just do it through concept. But yeah. No one enjoys playing squad battles. It's just one of those things that you just have to grind. And obviously go ahead and complete it. It's very, very difficult. But as you can see here, team of the season, Joe, we will find him. There he is. 84 pace, 90 shooting. Overall, insane card with 99 strength and 99 heading accuracy. So if you do want to sub this guy on off the bench, he's going to be one of those type of players that's going to cause a lot of havoc in the area. He's got good stamina as well. Amazing heading accuracy, amazing jumping. He's actually quite quick as well, considering he's so strong and... Um, and he's good at heading and he is six foot two. It's rare that you get a six foot two player with such high pace, obviously. So overall, this Joe card is actually a very good SBC. Uh, a very, I keep saying SBC, I apologize for that. It's because I make a lot of SBC videos, but um, the weekly objective, of course, this is probably the best one to do, in my opinion. It is worth it. It obviously is a weekly objective here and you are going to have to go ahead and do squad battle matches. So as you can see, win three squad battle matches using the... Which league is that? I think that's the, uh, the Korean League, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so the Korean League um, on minimum... Wait, which league is, league is that? So I think there are team of seasons for that. So you're going to need um, 11 of those players and you have to do it on Legendary. And as we all do know, Legendary is quite a difficult one to do. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of people out there that will struggle with Legendary, especially using these players that aren't the greatest players in the world. Um, but if we actually do take a look for that league... Um, this league here it is. It's a Japanese league. That's my bad again. I've said it wrong. There's obviously not many players from the Japanese league that are very good. So this is going to be very difficult to keep in mind. Obviously, if you've got flashback David Villa, that's a good one. You've got David Villa. You've got Podolski. You've got Iniesta. There isn't many actual great players. So obviously, start the best players possible. Those players are going to rise in price. So make sure you do go ahead, pick them up as soon as you can. That would be the best thing for you to do. Throw them into a squad. And yet again, you only need... Um, 11 of the players and you have to win three squad battle matches obviously squad battle matches go on all week so you've got a lot of opportunity i'm pretty sure you can play 40 squad battle matches in a week 41 if you do include um the actual team that you do have to play against so uh if you go into it here there is obviously the feature squad so if you do play against the feature squad this is going to count as well it's quite low on chemistry but yeah make sure you do go on legendary maybe just for the 64 rated challenges um so that's a very easy one with low chemistry so you should be able to beat that one on legendary fairly simply um but for example this is a 92 rated squad so you're going to really struggle to go ahead and beat that on legendary so i recommend you just ignore that one complete these two here the two easy ones it is different for everyone else but complete them too and go ahead obviously once you complete them wait until tomorrow for the next ones and obviously do it that way etc you do understand what i mean um but team of season joe probably is the best one out of all of them finally we have got team of season moments howard Ez. what you are going to do for have to do for this one is assist at using russia league players in four separate squad battle matches on world class so pretty much you're going to need any russian players any russian league players um 
So it doesn't matter who you pick up. You can have anyone on your bench. Literally anyone on the game from the Russian League. I'm sure you do have someone. If you don't, make sure you do go ahead. Pick up one of the most overpowered Russian League players you can pick up. Um, and make sure you do use them. Maybe it's probably good if you do have like a front three plus a striker of the Russian League. Because obviously it makes more sense. The more Russian League players you are, the more likely you are to assist the goal with a Russian League player. So that's what I do recommend. Just build a full Russian League team if you can. And obviously just try and get a few assists. You can need four assists, but in four separate matches. You don't have to win the games. All you need to do is get the assist. You can literally get the assist and put your controller down. This is to go ahead and get yourself a team of the season, Howard Dez, which isn't the greatest card in the world. I'm not going to lie to you at all. Um, he's a little bit of a, of a rubbish one, I'm not going to lie. But if you are going to obviously complete this, you can maybe submit him into another SVC. He's not exactly a great card. He's in the Russian League. He is German. He's only got 70 pace. He's a very, very poor card. No one really cares about him. I doubt anyone really wants to use him. And just, yeah, I don't think he's a good card. But let me know if you are going to go ahead and complete that one. I hope it did help. Um, but obviously, make sure you do use the substitutes as well. That's going to be very important on all of these to go ahead and do. But then, finally here, we've got another weekly objective. A score using Leicester City players in four separate matches. So if you are going to go ahead and complete the flashback Mares, make sure you do use a loan card here, as you can see, before you do go ahead and put all your coins into that SBC. Because it is like an 800,000 coin SBC. So make sure you do do that obviously um but yeah pretty much make sure you do that for the flashback maros that's another good tip of course it is in four separate matches so just score with any lesser player you can literally go into squad battles on um the easiest difficulty there and just go ahead semi-pro anything amateur and just score the goals with them in four separate matches and you will easily be able to do it but as you can see here score using flashback players in three separate rival matches to get a swap deals player so again obviously a swap deals player if you are doing that this month make sure you do keep on top of this to get the guaranteed bundesliga team of the season that would be a good one to do and then obviously there's another foot, foot swap deals player here as well which you are going to need any Egypt player minimum one, Senegal, so it's literally building you a team and you're going to have to win it on semi-pro. Quite a difficult one, I'm not going to lie, but I'm sure if you do enjoy the challenges, you will enjoy doing it. But as you can see here, win four rival matches using nine players who were not bought off the transfer market. So obviously you're just going to need to win four games with untradeable players. If you can do that, you're going to get 100k pack. It is untradeable, but 100k pack is incredible, obviously. So obviously you are going to want to grind towards that and try and get the 100k pack, but that's a very very good challenge i did not know that was there but what you are going to want to do with that obviously just use your untradeable players and make sure you have a nine and players at minimum out of the 11 in your team that are untradeable and you never bought them and you will be able to go ahead and get yourself the jumbo rare players pack being the 100k pack and then as you can see here assist 10 goals using silver players in squad battle matches on a minimum pro difficulty so that'll mean semi-pro or professional i'm pretty sure it is professional um, and that's to get another swap deals player. So there's three swap deals players up for grabs this week, as you can see. So make sure you do go ahead, do them, um, get the foot swap players and complete the foot swap objectives. But yeah, I hope this video really did help you out. If it did help you out, like I said, go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. We're trying to get to 2.6K subscribers, so if we can get there soon, that'll be much appreciated. But thank you all so much for the recent support on the channel. It really means the world. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video and it did help you out. Let me know if it did help you out by dropping a comment if you need any other help any assistance make sure you dm me on instagram which is mccartneyyt spelt the same way as my youtube channel but with a yt at the end uh, or follow me on twitter which is mccartney underscore ben and just dm me over there simple as that or just comment on the video whatever help you need and i will assist you with it of course but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope the video helped you out and if it did drop a like i hope you enjoyed and peace out